Acne is the commonest skin condition that we see in the clinic, and there is no doubt that it wrecks lives. But when is the right time to seek medical input? Now, we're obviously hugely evangelical about getting acne under control at the clinic. It's something of a specialty because we know that changing your skin can change your life. But there is still an awful lot of guilt, you know, a feeling that well, it's just a few spots, a little something that you'll grow out of that stands in the way of people taking charge of their skin and demanding that things can be better. So here's four scenarios to give you a framework for determining if it's the right time for you to seek medical attention and upgrade your approach. So the first one is that you've given it a really proper go with over-the-counter products. So if you watched one of my earlier videos, you'll know that a correct acne routine starts off with an anti-inflammatory, something like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid, in combination with the retinoid used at night. And that's in combination with non-clogging skincare and inoffensive makeup that also doesn't block pores. Now, a typical time frame for giving something like that a go is between eight and 12 weeks. So three months is kind of the milestone for which you can determine whether something's actually having an impact or not. And I guess it's important to define what that means. So I wouldn't expect in three months that all the red marks will have gone, but what you should notice is that there's an improvement in the tempo of your acne. So where before you were maybe getting a spot or two every couple of days or more, that now you're down to maybe one or two new spots every one to two weeks. So that kind of an improvement tells you that the treatment is working. The pigmentation side of things can come later. So don't be distracted by that in terms of charting your progress. If that's not happening, if you're not getting a reduction in the frequency of new blemishes, think it might be time to make an appointment. The next scenario is that you're in a rush. Now, I'm not normally one for pushing things through, but life happens. Maybe you're getting married, exciting. Maybe you've got a major birthday coming up. Maybe you have events that have been deferred from the last year that all of a sudden might actually happen now that we're out of lockdown. So these are situations where sometimes it is worth just making an appointment because otherwise there ends up with a negative stress loop where you're so worried about what state your skin is going to be in as you get nearer the time of the event that actually you almost drive the acne. I've seen this happen many, many times. So it's why in particular with weddings where your skin is going to be center stage, you're on show, everyone's looking at you, why not just remove the anxiety from the equation by seeking help early? Because once you've got that under control, I promise you the rest of organizing your wedding will be a doddle. The next scenario is when it's harming you psychologically. Now, all of us will have down days when it comes to breakouts, but I think it's a continuum and there comes a point for many where it becomes all that you can think about. When you look in the mirror, it's all you see and you imagine that that's what other people see and they don't see the rest of you. It comes to determine everything that you do. You worry about you know, whether or not you can go to that dinner because you're not sure what your skin is like and you even find yourself canceling things. I think that when you get to that point where you almost feel like you're being defined by your skin problem, it's certainly time to think about making an appointment. And then the final situation, probably shouldn't be a surprise, is when you're seeing serious consequences. Now, the most serious consequence from a physical point of view is of course scarring. And I consider scarring in context of acne to be something of a medical emergency because it's unlikely that you're going to solve that without some procedural effort later on. So it's something that we want ideally to prevent. And the thing with scarring is that it's often a marker of severity. So oftentimes in severe acne where it runs in family, other family members will have experienced this too. So if it can be nipped in the bud and avoided altogether, great. And the best way to do that is going to be making an appointment. Key areas to look for scarring, their common sites include the temples, 
the jawline, and particularly with teens, think about their chest and their back. Oftentimes, teens are not terribly forthcoming with the fact that they've got significant acne on their body, and you may not, as a parent, be aware of this, but please inquire gently, sympathetically, because this is such an important area to keep an eye on, because scarring on the chest and upper back especially um, can be quite significant. So scarring, and I think even significant pigmentation, again, they're both markers of fiery inflammatory acne, and that will always be better managed with a medical approach, whether through topicals, orals, um, whatever is needed to get it under control. But scarring, please take that seriously. So at the end of the day, we want to avoid both the mental and physical scars of acne. And I think that because I feel so strongly about solving it, of getting, giving people control, because in a sense, you won't really know how good life can be until you've, you've actually got there. And then it really does transform everything. It, you know, it affects the way you feel like going to the gym, to the beach, even getting into bed with your partner at night. The, it just has such a powerful effect on, on the way you feel about yourself that I really do believe in, you know, taking charge of it early um, and not suffering needlessly. There's no doubt that over-the-counter products can help, but there will come a point in time for those with significant acne where they will need more. And I think it's just knowing that, recognizing it, not beating yourself up for it, um, and really being compassionate to yourself because it can be amazing the difference that even one appointment can make, just allowing someone else to give you a proper plan and taking away some of the guesswork uh, and the anxiety that goes along with that because a lot of the treatments that are effective, as you know, if you follow this channel, will potentially have some side effects, albeit manageable, but having someone there who's been through it many times before can just make it all so much easier. So please do access medical care. It's not a cosmetic disorder. It is a serious problem in some instances and should be treated as such. Somber topic, but I think an important one for many of you who've, who've messaged me and are clearly struggling. Um, so yeah, see your doctor, talk to them about this, look for those key signs or that self-consciousness in yourself that says this is becoming more of a problem than it should be and take action. Bye for now.